Afternoon guys, this is Working, bringing you a quick update on Stellar. Hoping you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. Uh, we're looking at Stellar to Bitcoin, uh, one day chart, Bitrix. Um, and uh, guys, Stellar is kind of reaching a um, um, critical point where we would expect it to either bounce or it's going to collapse. Uh, we can see clearly this was uh, um, from its uptrend, from this structure. We draw our fib swing low swing high we can see that there's uh, the 618 fib it's reaching that now we can see price broke down by a wick quickly was rejected by the bears or excuse me by the bulls um, and now it's kind of just operating right on top of this uh, support zone um, between 35003310 and uh, this little demand zone that's uh, that's been created up in here between uh, 6350 and 6750 um, I price is just kind of operating bouncing around between the two uh, it has been for the last three days uh, price is now once again testing the 618 fib level guys and I'm either going to expect a bounce if we don't get any major reaction and we just see price kind of meander through this 618 fib uh, then more than likely we're going to see it drop down um, create um, possibly create a double bottom here where uh, where it hits 63 uh, let's see 633 or excuse me sorry not six three three six zero uh, Satoshi so we may see price fall down double bottom and then impulse up the wait and see how it ends up playing out guys the market is looking rather weak uh, volume is not looking great the entire market itself is kind of just looking stagnant um, so I it, right now guys I'm not expecting a whole lot um, I could really see it going in either direction and I know you don't like to hear analysts say that but uh, right now that's the truth guys more than likely in my opinion my bias is to the downside if price does break below this 618 fib does not create a double bottom we get no reaction at the 3365 prior low then more than likely we are going to see it continue to drop possibly come down, test the bottom of this zone at 3310. I would expect that to break, and I'd expect us to drop down to this um, level at uh, uh, 3180. 3180 has acted as um, support or resistance many times in the past. You see it was resistance, resistance, uh, resistance, 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 support, support. Um, if nothing else, we can see there's a lot of buying and selling that goes on uh, right at that zone, guys. So I would expect that to act as some support if price does end up dropping that low. The uh, lowest I think price would go is this demand zone down here at uh, 295. Uh, 2954 to 2870 Satoshi. You see that is a very strong demand zone. It's created back in here. Price came down, tested it again, rejected, tested it again. Bulls rejected it, and price ended up coming up. So if it does come back down there again, guys, I do that. That, in my opinion, is a must buy. If I don't think it's going to get that low, but if it does, that would be a must buy zone, in my opinion. I would be stacking orders up here between um, uh, 2950 and. Uh, to uh, nine zero zero somewhere thereabouts. I'd stack orders right in there, expecting a major bounce, guys. <clears throat> Looking to the upside, and this is not my bias. My bias now is down, but looking to the upside, if we do end up getting a bounce up, as I said, there is a nice supply zone up here between um, 3750 and 3650. Price would have to get north of that. If price does, in fact, get north of that, guys, then more than likely we're going to be looking. <clears throat> excuse me. I'll just draw it out for you. Um, if we look at this from a bearish perspective and from this entire structure, we go swing high, swing low. So let's pull it out. Swing high, swing low. Let me get rid of this so you can kind of see a little bit better. There we go. Um, we can see to the upside, price came down from a bearish perspective on the uptrace. It um, um, bounced hard off the 618 FIB level, went into the golden pocket, 61865, wicked into it, and then bounced back, came back in, created an almost double bottom, not quite, and then came tearing back down, guys. Um, so that 618 FIB level we've got to get north of. Um, as I said, if we can get past this, uh, there's going to be two zones we're going to have to get past. Right now, price is bouncing between, <clears throat> excuse me, as I said, bouncing between the top of this support at 3500 and the top of this resistance um, at the 382 FIB, which is also at 3700, 3750, somewhere thereabouts, right in here. Um, if we get north of that, the 50, uh, the 50 FIB bubble sitting at about 3970. Up in here has acted many um, acted as resistance. Acted as resistance here quite a few times. Acted as resistance here. Barely broke through. Quickly rejected. Broke through. Quickly rejected. So I would expect this 50 to act. Uh, this 50 fib level to act as a very strong resistance. If we can get north of that, I think it'll be a very quick climb up to the golden pocket between the 618 fib and the 65 fib level or the prior high. So from that point, we're going to be looking at a possible double top to come back down. If we can break this 618 fib level, guys, and we can get north of that. I think it's uh, then at that point stellar will uh, stellar will just uh, snowball up from there. Uh, but I'm not expecting that to happen anytime soon, guys. That's going to be a very very strong resistance. So from now, guys, that's kind of uh, the both scenarios. I wish I could give you a little more clear information if we look at our indicators. <clears throat> Looking at our histogram, guys. 
Uh, we can see histogram is looking rather bearish. The histogram is um, trending down the signal line and MACD line also trending down, showing no signs of reversing course. We can see that our uh, daily stock RSI is oversold, moving sideways, giving us no indication of which way it would go. Wouldn't be surprised though, possible bounce up. Stock RSI bounces up with it, a little bit of a reset, not too much, and then to come right crashing right back down. Looking at our RSI, it's sitting right here in neutral zone at about uh, um, about 47 or somewhere thereabouts. We can see there has been a um, an ascending support line that price is about to check. Uh, let me just kind of get it right on there a little bit better. There we go. Price is about to check. It's actually testing it now, testing that support. Um, if that does end up breaking down, guys, it's going to be a rather bearish sign, um, obviously, and that's going to tell us it'll probably drop down and test this 3310 um, support. <clears throat> Excuse me. If we look at the bigger picture, again, zooming out on the daily chart, guys, we can see that price is operating within this larger wedge, and um, we can see that price is just continues to kind of get tighter and tighter and tighter. Um, some are calling this a big bull, a bullish pennant. I don't really see that so much. I can see price breaking in either direction. Um, that being said, more than likely, in my opinion, we will see price kind of continue to operate within this zone, probably doing something like this. Uh, let me just get it right here. Probably, ah, why is it not wanting to do this here, guys? Sorry about that. No, I see what the problem is. There we go. It would help if I actually had the right color. So look, pro probably doing something like this, coming back down, back up back down and then a possible breakout. Um, so that would be kind of what I'd be looking for. Mm. Excuse me guys, let me get a quick drink of water. Okay, so that's what I'm kind of looking for guys. We can see that the Bollinger Bands are starting to uh, starting to look like they're squeezing together. Price is starting to come down to the bottom of the, bull the uh, lower Bollinger Band guys. You may see a, uh, as I said, a bounce up. It does look like it's getting tighter and tighter as we approach the apex guys um, of this wedge. More and more likely, a breakout becomes um, a, a breakout becomes more and more likely as we approach the apex, guys. So, in my opinion, looks like sometime possibly in late August, early September would be uh, when I would expect Stellar to possibly break out. In my opinion, it looks to me like it would break, even though it could break in either direction. My bias is it would break to the upside, but in between now and then, guys, more than likely we're going to see it come back down and test this the bottom of this wedge and the top of this wedge and just kind of move sideways until it reaches this zone. Somewhere in here, I would say, you know, somewhere in this zone here, that's where I would kind of expect a breakout in one direction or another. My bias would be to the upside, guys, though, um, just uh, just based on what I, I believe um, that uh, I believe ETFs are going to be approved somewhere in um, September. And from that point, I can see price just taking off a little bit of fundamentals mixed in with TA, even though with the TA, guys, though, I do believe that price would end up uh, would end up breaking to the upside. Just in my opinion, that would be my bias just based on how I'm seeing things now. Um, so anyway, these are my quick thoughts on Stellar, guys. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please let me know in the comments section below. And until next time, guys, please trade safe. This is Working signing out.